Corel just released a brand new software called Corel Draw Go. It's targeting beginners to intermediate users. It's a very same audience like Canva or Adobe Express. So you can say that Corel Draw released the own version of Canva. So the first question will be, is it free? Not really. They did not go with this freemium model like Canva. So it's a paid software, but you can get a 15 days free trial. So that's why I'm doing today. So let's check it out. It's a brand new software just released. I just make it myself a free account, a free trial account for 15 days. And after you log in, you'll be welcome with this screen. As you can see, I got this timer at the top. So now we got 16 days to explore the software. And as you may guess, this is software focused on uh, templates. So instead of seeing some complex toolbar, we got some templates and popular sizes here at front. You can scroll down a bit to see popular templates. And there's even button to explore more. If you click on that. They will give this pop-up window when you can specify which template you want and you can also start from a blank page so that's also an option all right so let's do just that let's select a blank page first so we can explore different options so let's do just that i select a custom blank page i can decide portrait or landscape i got size here in inches I can change my unit, so that's really good. We can set a backdrop as the solid color and then swap the color, generate a custom color. So all of that is here. Let's go with this transparent one. And what's good is we can actually decide about color mode. We can do it for print or for screen. And from beginning, you can specify number of pages. So actually this create new project window is pretty good. Let's create this new project. And that will take us to a project view, all right? On the left, we got very short tool panel. And first thing you will notice here, at least me, <laughs> that was the draw button. Okay, if you click on that, you may notice that you got uh, several brushes. So that's not something that we can see on like uh, Adobe Express or Canva. So they definitely kind of go from those core draw roots here we got proper draw tool so let's just try some basic brush and then then you can use your mouse or the touch device to draw that we can zoom in a bit just using your scroll on your mouse all right and that's the brush let's change the brush to different one and you may notice I can control the size of the brush here on the right side. I can control the transparency of the brush as well. We can also reset the brush if you feel like you mess it up in properties here. Okay. If you open the object menu on the right here, you will see all of the objects in this project. And this will give us a bit of detail let's say more than I would expect from the casual software options to scale it freely rotate we can also move it around as you can guess on the right click you will have option to move it up and down in the layer panel but you can also just drag it up and down here and you may notice those layers are called curves so what will happen if I double tap on this curve, take a look. We got notes. We got proper notes. Okay, let's delete all of those objects. So I just press delete, 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 delete. One is all we need. Double tap. We see those notes. So this is a proper vector graphics. And that's definitely impressive. That's something that is definitely not available in most of those casual programs to have full control on your vector shapes all right so that's all here this object is a vector curve so we we could literally design a proper vector logo in this web-based software so that's solid all right but i kind of jumped the gun go straight to draw feature 
that I was the most excited about, but what else is here on the left? We got project settings. So that's what exactly what we set up before while creating this new document. Then the second icon here is assets. So as you may guess, this kind of software is created mostly for casual users and like semi-professional users. So they really need some built-in assets. We got photos that we can use. And this is a free photo from Unsplash. Take a look, the link to Unsplash. And now we can place this by drawing the size we want. All right, so here it is, a proper photo loaded in this project. And there's also a vector tab when you can switch to vector tab. And then we got the proper scalable vector graphics. It's very clear, two different tabs for raster and vectors. And when you load like an icon like this, Here it is. This is SVG. What does it mean? It's editable. So take a look. Same way I modify my curve, I can modify all of the nodes in this project, in this icon. We can also modify some properties of that very object. The main property is a color, fill color. I can change that to any custom color I want. That's uh, really easy to do with vector shapes. We can easily replace the object color. We can add stroke around it. We can decide what style of line do you want. So it's a very heavy on vector editing and that's a good thing. All right, so we got basic properties here, like the fill color that can be changed to gradient as well. All right, all of that is here. Then we got objects, that's your layer panel when we can create new layers and new pages as well. So right now I got single page document, but I can click here and I will have page two. So I can jump between page one and page two. And if you zoom out, you can actually see that pages are existing in this document physically next to each other. So that's nice. All right, so that's a uh, little introduction of the interface. We got also import button when we can import images from your own device. There's a proper shape tool with multiple built-in shapes, so not only rectangle and circle. Draw tool, that's like a pencil tool you could say, but we can also change to pen tool. Take a look, there's a proper pen tool. So imagine Canva with proper pen tool. That's what it is. Okay, so we got proper pen tool as well. Then it's a text tool that will be important for customizing all of those templates, adding your own text. It's text tool and that's end of this very short tool panel. We got a zoom tool and pan tool when we can pan around. You can also zoom by scrolling on your mouse. That's also an option. All right, so what if you wanna finish up with your design, you wanna export that, what formats are available? We can click export here at the top right. You've got option to download in JPEGs, PNGs, this PDF and also SVG. So if you design a logo using those like vector tools like pen tool and all that stuff, you can actually download the vector file as well. There's also print option when you can print it out if you use that you will go straight to your printer settings. And you know what? That's something that is missing in, in Canva and Adobe Express, okay? So I literally make a tutorial that got like 5,000 views. People simply try to figure out how to print this stuff out. All right, so it's, it's rather simple for, for like more experienced users that you can easily like, you know, export, download PDF, and then you can print that PDF out, but it's nice that they give this print option straight from here. Very good for casual users. Because remember, this program will be used for people that just that are just beginners with graphic design, maybe students, young learners. So they want them to use Corel Draw like beginners to like medium experienced designers. And then you can invest in more professional software they also offer, right? Or move to different company software like Adobe Illustrator, Affinity Design, or whatever you like. Okay, so that's a direct competitor to Canva to Adobe Express, all right? So they don't try to compete here with, I don't know, uh, 
Adobe Illustrator or Adobe InDesign. Okay, as you can see, the project is safe in the cloud. This whole software runs through a web browser, so we definitely need an internet to run it. Let's do a quick test. I just kill my Wi-Fi and take a look. I got this error message that we are offline. I can click OK and take a look. We can still edit the open project, all right? So even with Wi-Fi off, we can still make changes to this open project just fine. But if you notice top left, our save status is off. We did not save this. All right, so I was able to make changes and I was also able to download the project while offline. And when I back to online, they update the version here in the cloud. So nothing was really lost by losing the internet for a while. I actually managed to download the project as well. All right, let's go back here to this menu icon at the top left when we can create a brand new project from here. We can save the copy in the cloud. That's something that kind of happened automatically. We can also open from this device. So that's also an option. So let's try to download a copy and take a look. This project is CDR. So we managed to get a regular Corel Draw file. So that's nice. So you can actually load them here as well by clicking open from your device. So it's a bit more than advertised. It's a bit more than a Canva version for Corel. It's got a few more, more like premium, more advanced feature for more advanced users. So as I mentioned, it's not only for totally casuals. You can actually do some decent work here. And I think there will be also a big market for Chromebooks. Remember, you cannot really install good graphic apps on Chromebook. And this is all running in the web browsers. You can like open and edit regular CDR files, SVG files. So that's big for Chromebooks. All right, we play around with this silly blank project. Let's try to customize a template. So let's open up this template. And after the project is loaded, we see this here in the middle. All of the layers are here on the rise nicely. Remember, you can always reorder them, just pulling stuff around. You can also click this eye icon to hide layers temporary. And if the layer is vector based, like a shape or text, you can easily modify the color. For text, we can also modify the font and the size of it. Click this little arrow to have more features. So let's edit this text. All right, so the text is editable. Let's now select this backdrop shape. Let's change the color of that. All right, so that's editable as well. Can we move them together? Let's try to select two objects same time. All right, so it's moving all together. Let's try to add rotation. All right, not bad. So it's a definitely a casual friendly editor for all those templates that we can very quickly move those objects around do basic transformation, scale up and down, rotate by hovering the mouse outside. We can edit any text, we can change any color for shapes. All right, so as you can see, it's a decent casual software with some extras like the full editable vectors, SVG exports, no tool, proper pen tool. So we got out of a bit of those color draw DNA in the software. They decide to make it a premium product, so there's no like paywalls in it, but you cannot really use it for free. So they are kind of losing huge market here. All of those hobbyists, students, young learners, they will go with something that is free. Probably they will stick with, with Canva. So I think they should at least make this trial period a bit longer than 16 days. It should be at least a month or two to let people play with it and decide that they want to use this software longer and then purchase eventually or give some kind of big student discount on it. So we will see how they will develop with this policy. All right. So, so far it was just released. This was a quick first impression. I didn't play with this software a lot. I just play a bit with some tools and templates. And the first impression is, is not bad. It's good. I actually surprised that they went through like a bit more 
professional approach with this whole like proper layer panel and the proper node tool and stuff like that. So that's definitely expanding the scope how the software can be used. It can be also used to modify SVGs. So someone can send you a SVG and you can open this up here. But I think there are still a few features missing. So that's just a first impression. I'm going to play with this program for a few more days. I'll try to complete some projects and then I will do some kind of follow up video highlighting some great features and talking about some missing features. All right. So I hope you like this one. It's a brand new software. If you like to try stuff yourself, keep in mind you can get two weeks for free. And if you don't want to try it yourself, you just want to wait for this next video. Don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next one.